All right, guys, I'm going to put you on my chain. Got to take off the wife beater. You know, got to show the uh, the whole package. <laughs> That's what I would say. Got to show the whole package. Oh, oh yeah. or good morning or good night wherever you guys are happy freaking thursday or i guess when you're watching it's happy freaking friday oh man today was one of the days guys i was tested today oh it finally happened i was tested my patience was very much so tested but i think i was the bigger man today and i i kept my cool when adversity struck and we did the damn thing in terms of being professional and being a leader. While moving into this new role that I'm doing, I've, I've had to learn to be more stern with people. Because listen, I'm a nice guy. I, I have a hard time with just being an ass to people. But I'm trying to look at it as I got to be a leader. I got to somehow lead the group of guys that I have in the direction to where they can succeed the most. Even if they're inexperienced, I have to find a way to find what they're strong at and have them succeed doing that. So that's what I'm trying to work on. I'm getting there, and it will get there. I've just got to be patient. I feel good. Tomorrow's Friday. Payday, which is good. <laughs> I get a washer and dryer this weekend, so I'm super cheesed about that. I did not get to pick up that lick. Oh, I didn't explain that yesterday. Huh. I'm, ret I'm retelling stories. How silly of me. Um, but no, I'm going to be... What else I got to do? I got to pick up my the rest of my gym equipment. I actually need to get some more stain to stain the rest of that damn, stall, uh, that damn platform that I have because I didn't have enough. And uh, we have like a little spot on the edge. And then since I don't know how to stain very well, it looks like... It looks like a third grader grabbed it and tried it. <laughs> it kind of does. So maybe the polyurethane will put that sheet on it and make it look much, much better. So that's fingers crossed. I was gonna like film the whole process, but I'm like, I needed to get in and get out, you know. So that's why I just said, screw it. We'll just show the final product. Um, but oh, anyway, sorry. Oh, I'm not making y'all y'all. Today we got deadlifts. I think we're doing some high rep deadlifts today, so I'm, I'm probably not going to go too crazy heavy. I'm going to really work on feeling that engagement in my glutes and my hamstrings, basically the whole posterior chain. We're going to get that going. Try to work on these buns and weak points, you know, work on that old ass, gluteus maximus. So, got that. Hamstrings, quads, you know, the good stuff. So, I guess we'll end this car vlog early. And let's freaking get it, guys. All right, see you guys in the freaking gym. Let's go. <sighs> see how this goes. Damn, without shocks. Hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> Damn, these knocked the hell. <sighs> knocked the wind out of you. <sighs> Hopefully form looked good on that. <sighs> we'll have to see. Felt with the belt position slightly higher. It actually helps. So before, had my belt really low. Almost made like a anterior pivot, pivot in my hips. So, I felt good. I felt good. 
All right, guys, some seated leg curls. Get them old hammies. Oh, up the weights. 60 pounds, come on. Come on. Like 7.5. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna do sets of 15 on this machine. It's gonna kick my ass, but you know what? It's about, you know, oh, let me slide back. You know, I feel like machines like these really build character. Here we go. Let's set up. Let's get a nice extension. Here we go. 15 reps, baby. Slow. So totally too light. Too light. Got 20. Oh, first set. That's your full weight.
Oh, that's tough. Fucking hell, man. That's tough. Kick my butt. Hey, Uncle. Such a lot better than you ever think you will. Oh, I don't know if you even see me, but even these days with RP7, you really got to focus on the exercises, really focusing on what you're at. Right now, try to not hold back, but focus on the contraction. I think I get my miles set. So, wish me luck. All right, guys, let's check out the quad pump. Holy shit. Yeah, guys, today was one of them days, man. Like, felt good. Felt freaking good. Let's get this shirt. See how we look. Oh, yeah. Got the old five inch shorts, baby. Ah, oh, damn, I popped. Ah, oh, damn. Let's see here. That's a good shot. Get the glutes in there. It's a good shot, guys. Let me know that. Gosh, damn. I mean, look, my quads are just so pumped right now. <laughs> That's crazy, man. There he is. Oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you on my chain. Gotta take off the wife beater, you know, gotta show the, uh, the whole package. <laughs> That's what I always say. Gotta show the whole package. Oh, oh yeah. Man, that's not bad. There we go. Ah, it's not a bad shot. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, man. It was crazy when I was a kid. I never uh, imagined that even just now, and I don't think my physique's by no means like just insane, right? But I want to look at guys, but man, I'd hope and pray that a guy with just my muscle would be natural, you know? So for me to be where I'm at, it's just uh, it's a phenomenal feeling, man. It's just... You don't know the limits until you get there, right? So we've been doing this for what, 12 years now? And I think we're always in this rat race of never being good enough, right? You're always trying to chase the next peak, right? You know, you hit 200 pounds shredded, well, I wanna be 205. Or you'd start dieting down a bit. Man, I'm 185 pounds shredded. I wanna get a little bit leaner, right? Let's get down to 180. And it's like, it's, it's never ending, guys. You know, you'll never, I don't think we'll ever be content 100,000%. I just, I don't believe it. I think that that's just how we're built, especially driven people like a lot of you guys are. I mean, hell, what's the part of like being in this world if you're not driven by something? Whether, I mean, you think you don't have the gym, but a lot of people are, you know, driven by money, greed, lust. I mean, there's a lot of things, right? Um, but it's like, if you're gonna do something, you know, see it to the full, see, you know, see it to the end. Because hell, you don't, you don't know where you could end up, right? Hell, look, look at me, some small town boy from Arkansas and I ended up becoming a professional natural bodybuilder. Like, it's freaking nuts, so. It's crazy. Let's get some pictures and get some food. <clears throat> All right, guys, I just finished putting the polyurethane. Um, got the stain on there, it's a mess. Um, I apologize for that, <clears throat> but 
We've been hard at work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hold up, let's get. Maybe we can get uh, some future. Oh yeah, look at that lighting. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good in here, guys. It's gonna be good. We got a lot of work to do. Oh yeah, look at the quads. Yeah, we, we got a lot of work to do still. Um, said I got a massive power rack going here. The bench press that I bought is going into the basement. So, and in this corner, we're gonna have like a uh, hack squat machine. This side, we're gonna have like my belt squat um, or leg press. I haven't decided. Probably gonna end up being a belt squat machine that goes here. And then so for right here, this little space, um, I'm thinking lat pull down machine. So right now the rack itself is probably gonna go about like right here. Um, this is essentially going to be a walkway and I might eventually trim this off, but for right now it's kind of like a good little step because I have to trim off this edge already because the particle boards were not perfectly square. They were odd cut, so I'm gonna have to trim that off eventually. Anyway, but for right now, we'll use this as a walkway. I can still see myself being able to put like a lap pull down machine or something like that. Cause it's not crazy long, so I could actually put it against this wall right here. You know what I mean? And it could, it'll probably extend to like right here. And like I said, this is still a walkway and it'll work out because my rack comes out to here and I could maybe set it up to where I could have like a, uh, I could have like like a bench that I could sit on and do my rows, so not bad. So over here we got the dumbbell section. Um, probably gonna place one more mirror right there. Um, I even thought about putting maybe the left pull down right there, but I don't think it's high enough. So this right here is going to be kind of like the Smith Machine functional trainer area. So I still gotta mat this corner out right here. This bike's going away. And then you can imagine functional trainer getting the poops, you know, showing the shreds, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And then you got this little spot, which honest to goodness, I might end up, when I put the mirror here, I could put the functional trainer here and then just use this as a dumbbell section and light pull. I don't know yet. We still got a lot of figuring out to do. I'm excited. You see, I got boxes. I have the lighting I have to install still. This is just shit lighting. Um, but right now, I'm gonna pee, get out of here because I need to shower and eat. And I will see you guys soon.